Angie, yeah, thank hi. you for uh, coming and chatting with us about your experience um, working with us. And if Pleasure. you don't mind us um, asking a few questions about your experience, um, hopefully it will help some other people who are were in a similar situation to you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So uh, could you start by telling us a little bit about what you were experiencing when you first um, reached out to us? Um, well, I was absolutely desperate. I was really ill. Um, I was virtually couch bound, bed bound. Could only just about get up to go to the loo and have a shower. Even that was just a struggle. I couldn't stand up. I kept feeling faint. Everything was just supreme effort. I was just in constant pain um, with a bit of a respite in the evening. And I was just getting desperate. And I, I was looking on the internet and there seemed to be a lot of um, people that didn't seem, it, it all seemed a bit too slick and um, mm. realistic. And obviously on the internet, there's, you know, there's charlatans. So um, I don't know. I just had a really good feel about you guys. And, you just seem really honest and not not blowing your own trumpets or you know too much fluff and glitter and glam and you know it, it just seemed real and yeah, I just okay. thought these are the real deal these people I'm sure and if they're not well <laughs> what price your health I'm gonna I want to be prepared to take a risk and I just felt you no know, so terrible I had to do something my family were like mum what are you gonna do and I was like I have to do something you know hopefully this works but I really didn't feel like it would I was so oh really no I, I just thought nothing's going to sort this out nothing you know I was my, it was affecting my mental health um obviously my physical health my relationships uh everything was just right at yeah. rock bottom. Yeah. so what what that being the case what kind of gave you the motivation to move forward then with that kind of uncertainty well i i saw you dealt mo well pr pretty much mostly with showgrounds which i think is a rising thing from what i'm speaking to people about it or it's a newly discovered thing that's not been kind of diagnosed maybe before and i just thought these these people were um yeah they they they're, they're trying something, they're doing something, they're offering some sort of help, a beacon of light mm. in a storm. So um, I just thought I'm going to reach out and see if it, see what happens. Okay. Um, yeah, I great. was sceptical, especially when it didn't work to start with and I got worse. I thought, oh, gee, no, here we go. Yeah, I mean, I was going to ask, how, how do you feel that your symptoms have changed over the, over the duration of the program? Well, I can do stuff now. I couldn't do anything. I was, as I said, I was bed bound, couch bound. Uh, I couldn't even speak to people. It was such a supreme effort. Everything was hurting. The pain was horrendous. Uh, the drugs I was given weren't weren't really helping much. They were masking it a bit. And I've come off a lot of those now, so we're really on a low dose now. Um, yeah um sorry where were we yeah you were just saying how your symptoms have changed so you you came mm. with a lot of like neuropathic pain yeah like, quite extreme um yeah that was kind of triggered by m movement just kind of walking around a little bit and yeah um seeing them walking were, were yeah, just sure. were, having a cup of tea would trigger it off and yeah getting up if I tried to wash up I just couldn't do it wash the dishes I just sort of flake and uh no I just had to go crash back on the couch it was just yeah. All, yeah and then also um quite a dry mouth and I, I think mm. when when yeah what what happened with that was that was that one of the first symptoms that kind of started to disappear it's hard to say because it all came together kind of gradually bit by bit this would get better then that would get a bit better and then I noticed oh that, that dry mouth I'm producing saliva now my eyes not so much um but they haven't been burning and itching like they were they're now just okay if I keep the drops in um but yeah 
my eyes are a lot more manageable. I'm not rubbing them and itching and they're getting inflamed. So they are they are better. Whether I'll ever produce cry tears again, I don't know. I can, if I'm really upset, I can cry a bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, yeah, the horrible surges of neuropathic pain are, are far less. I'm I'm still get some joint pain and I still get some pots orthostatic hypertension which was terrible but that's not as bad now that's a lot better I can go out I can go up the shops I couldn't do that before I couldn't um I couldn't walk to the pharmacies walk around the the local heath I just couldn't do anything Mm. Uh, now I even did a day's work the other day uh some market research from my bank I had to get into London I would never ever have contemplated that before and now I'm thinking of oh, I can get on a bus and go and see my mother-in-law who's come over from Australia for a while. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking the things I can do rather than That's I can't amazing. do. Yeah. And wasn't there even a day when you helped your daughter move house? Yeah, I helped to pack up, move stuff, yeah, uh, clear out her garage. Um, I've been doing gardening, clearing out compost heaps. It's just digging. amazing, the change. Yeah. Of- the change from I, now to then is just, it's phenomenal. Yeah. I know. I, I had 18 months of just like it barely existing to now I can I can do stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm still in pain. Um, but maybe in time that will all change. Well, yeah, it's only been about four months or so, I, I think. Four months, maybe yeah. five. Yeah. yeah. It may change like August. Four months. Yeah, four months. The change is phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. We're almost sort of scared to believe it in case it, you know, it all goes bad again. But I I can't see it. I think sticking to this food plan and um, the supplements you've chosen for me and just basically changing my lifestyle, um, avoiding alcohol, you know, just very occasionally I might have a glass if it's a celebration mm. thing. Yeah. I did have some alcohol the other day, actually, <laughs> when yeah. I met my friend after work in London, and I had a glass. <gasps> oh, I felt terrible. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah no you drivers. get sensitised to it sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a new system, and i just got no tolerance. And as soon as I drank some, I felt, oh, like that. Um, but, yeah, no dryness the next day, just yeah. m- major yeah. hungover from one glass of is really it's yeah that's great and Paloma did you have any anything you wanted to talk about yeah and yeah I wanted to ask how how it's impacted your family as well because I know that obviously Mm -hmm. showgrounds affects affects you but it also affects your family Um, yeah can you tell us more about that oh you mean psychologically how it's affected them yes your your symptoms improving how has that affected your family as well oh they're so they're crying tears of joy whereas they were crying tears of despair before um yeah i think i'm gonna cry now (laughs) um well i'm actually producing some tears i think um yeah they were really they were just they're just over the moon they can't believe it um yeah, they're just trying. They're just telling everybody, friends and family, how much better I am. They can't believe it. They they just, you know, that I'm actually doing stuff and I can live. I can function. They they're just amazed because they were really upset before. They were in tears, not sleeping, stressed. Um, yeah, it took a massive toll on them. It wasn't just me. It wasn't just about me and my illness. It it really affected them severely impacted them yeah they were they were having to 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 basically cook clean out you you, yeah my partner's pretty much yeah he's got adhd so it's really difficult for him to juggle and cope he kept having to ask me and i was getting angry because i was so ill i i was just fed up with explaining you know how to boil potatoes so not not that simple but you know how to basically put a meal together um what to buy, um, how to cook this, that, because he, he can do very basic of English buds and veg and, I don't know, chop or something like that. But, you know, making um, other foods was very difficult for him. 
So yeah, it was a struggle and buying all this stuff and um yeah, he was going out buying stuff for me and um bringing all the shopping in. Um cleaning was kind of non-existent really. I mean, he'd wash the wash the dishes and eventually as I got better, I could do the dishes, which was a help. But yeah, he really struggled. Yeah, and the I could just about do the laundry, but I couldn't hang it out. I couldn't, uh, it was a major task that like, got overlooked. And then I'd do like one big wash and he'd, he'd hang it out because I just couldn't go. I just couldn't hang stuff out. I was too ill. And all yeah. of this now, this is stuff that you can do now. Yeah, I can put the washes on and um, hang stuff out. And yeah, I can do all that now and clean and clean the floor and, vacuum I mean I'm not I'm not sort of um germophobic I'm not OCD with cleaning but you know the house is basically clean and tidy the loo's clean and you know the shower's clean and the bath and all, all the necessary stuff is done yeah and you know I've even cooked for Steve cooked meals for him cooked for my daughter um maybe sort of vegan curries and things or vegan spaghetti bolognese or chili or something like that that they can mm. eat as well um i don't think they're too keen on tofu but um, i like it so <laughs> yeah right. and how did you how did you find the support and guidance that you received throughout this process from myself and paloma really good yeah really good excellent yeah um you're not great on emails i have to say but <laughs> We were just talking about that yesterday. That's yeah, that, yeah. that's something that we're, we're we're kind of trying to speed up. <laughs> yeah, we all have our you know. Sometimes you just get overwhelmed with stuff, and I'm. I think when someone's ill, they probably bother you, you know, with every single little thing. And what's this? What's that? Why is this? Why is that? No, you know, because I think you get a bit scared, and I think you just mm. start sort of hyper focusing on every little thing that's wrong and every every blood result and everything yeah, yeah. yeah but with the let's say with the weekly check-ins that you had with Paloma did did mm. they serve to um to address the kind of nitty-gritty of the the plan imp implementation yeah in definitely yeah yeah definitely yeah she was very helpful and supportive every question was sort of answered and Link sent and things sort of sourced where I could get things and or she asked you things about certain things I you know I would ask about if I could eat she got back to me very quickly everything was just addressed yeah where I could eat um places you know that did um yeah you know, okay. food diets yeah everything so, was yes so, yeah. so you felt you know, we didn't just give you the recommendations and say yeah go off and do that you felt like you had kind of additional support to actually help figure out how to implement it in your in yeah. the of your life. Yeah, yeah, how to cook this, how to, you know, cook that, um, batch cooking, um, freezing stuff, uh, food that was, you know, what to avoid, don't eat this because it's heavily sprayed, this is all right, it's not too bad. Mm. Um, obviously working within budgets because organic food can be expensive but then if you're not buying junk and meats all the time and um yeah, just junk really you're not true, you're not yeah. having that so you can pay out on um yeah. the whole foods and things on organic yeah so yeah that was that was very good yeah she'd always answer every question it was perfect yeah so i felt very supported that, that was great. great yeah um and what would you say to other people with shoguns who are maybe considering whether or not they should reach out to us, whether they should do the program or not, but maybe sitting on the fence for whatever reason? What I would say to them is, it worked for me. It may not work for you, but it it could well work for you. You could get even a, a moderate improvement um, or you could get a really great result like me and go from couch to moving. Um, Go for it. Yeah, what price is your health? Um, this is a really good chance to get your health back on track and just just go for it. Just throw caution to the wind. And if you're seeing the results like I get, then 
um yeah it's a it's a sort of tried and trusted route to to wellness really and um yeah give it a go yeah well because we're really trying to address the fundamental things that 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 create health in the body we're trying to restore normal function and yeah so we're yeah. addressing fundamental things but it's also very specific to you the plan that we gave you looks nothing else nothing like the plan that we gave other people there's, there's crossover no that's what i tell yeah. people i say that you know i might take xyz supplements but they might not work for you because your sort of showgrounds it's a syndrome it's a collection of different things hmm. it might affect you in other ways you might have lo loads of joint pain which i didn't really have so much um or you could have more neuropathy or hmm. more some people have got really severe dry eyes so you know <laughs> what worked for me might not work for you so yeah, they, yeah. They've, got to, they've got to be sort of assessed um and proper um dive into your health stuff which you hmm. do you know your previous sort of health history that has to be looked at um, yeah and that's all true and but at the end of the day it's you that did the work and you know so you know we were really impressed with you know how how you approached the whole program right from the beginning how you're open-minded you're optimistic yeah you were resourceful resourceful uh, yeah you're persistent even like you yeah. mentioned in the beginning there was there was a period in the first whatever it was the first month or month and a half I can't remember exactly um where things didn't look like they were moving but no. you, you didn't lose hope even though it was it was it was a challenge for sure um yeah but we, yeah we, we said just found that really really impressive and um you you made it happen we give you know we give our recommendations but it's you um that really did the work and made made the results so well done yeah i couldn't have done it unless you'd been prodding me along and saying you know do this do that don't do yeah. this don't do that no to that yes to that yeah. I, I you know no it was some yeah. i needed sort of a handhold all along so yeah it was great okay well paloma do you have any other anything else you want to add or ask um, well, I think anyone with any kind of autoimmune disease, this would probably, this kind of, definitely the eating uh, would help them, I'm sure. Um, I, mean, I know a lot of people with rheumatoid arthritis, whether it could work for that, I don't know. But um, it, works, it, it works in any, in any chronic health issue, full stop. Yeah. Yes. You know, yeah. the, the, every individual has a different um, journey. It's hard to compare mm -hmm. people, but yeah. it doesn't matter really what the what the disease is called. If it's called mm -hmm. Sjogren's or rheumatoid arthritis yeah. or cardiovascular disease, these are all inflammatory diseases. They have their differences and they have their unique things. And why we sh we focus on Sjogren's in order so that we really understand the specifics of Sjogren's, which which are very very few other practitioners do at, at, at this point in time at least mm. um so that's why we we focus on showrooms but but the fundamental process um of trying to address that the, the the root causes the underlying issues that are going on in the body to cause these symptoms that are called whichever disease it kind of manifests as yeah it's, a, it's the same process yeah. so thyroids crohn's thyroid issues. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah. so Okay, well, um, yeah, I mean, probably... all I can say is it's an eat, you know, it's a, a, an eating plan for life. And if you veer off yeah. it a bit, if you go on holiday, okay, you might see a bit, but you can go back to, um, you know, the healthy eating. If you feel you're, yeah. it, it's affecting how your condition, then you can go back on the plan and you can just use it throughout life to keep your health. On track exactly, and you you know they've been on this on this process for whatever you know for four months or so. Mm. Um, and in many ways, that's just the beginning for you. It's not the end. It's not like you we've exhausted all our options, and and yeah. you know you, you've made such an amazing improvement. But um, would you say that the future looks brighter as a result of where you? Yeah, yeah, you definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I might even continue. Um, with you um or maybe just see how i go and yeah. um, and then if i don't 
if I sort of plateau, then I'll come back to you and say, right, you know, something else needs. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it, it's, yeah, it's yeah, everyone, you know, when they reach the end of the program, they have different, they, they've reached different milestones and yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, hopefully what we've tried to do is, is get you to a point where you do feel confident to, to continue yeah. on, your own, on your own for a bit. So that would be great if you can. Um, and then if, you know, we're always here if you, need or want additional improvement and there's always additional improvement to be had so um that's something we can discuss separately but you know in so far as this kind of uh chat goes is there anything that you wanted to say before we wrap it up i was going to say that i think the cost of it is low is small compared to the amount of time you put into it and the amount of meetings you give and and help and support with both of you it's a it's a hell of a lot um yeah, I think try and make it accessible. We try yeah. and make it accessible. It does take it, a lot of our time. We put we put a lot of ourselves into it, and yeah, we, definitely, we, yeah. We, I, we don't I, work with that many people at once at, at one time, so that we can give every one that we work with mm. um, that kind of level of attention, um, because it's very much not a cookie cutter approach. It's very personalized. Yeah. So I hope you, it sounds like it that it paid off in your in your case. But yeah, definitely. Like oh. and and yeah. obviously the result is, is really good. Yeah. So, and as I said, you know, I'd say to people, just go for it. Just just try it. Um, you know, what okay. have you got to lose? You've got your health to gain. You've got nothing to lose by trying it. Absolutely. And even if it doesn't help the shoguns, it will, you know, it could help other things mm. in your body that are not right. Okay. That's a great, that's a great uh, place to end then. Um, mm. So thank you very much. For yeah, sharing you're your welcome. thoughts yeah. with us, and I hope it helps someone out there um, yeah. who is considering what to do, and maybe doesn't feel like very hopeful about their future. Maybe doesn't feel like anything will help them, and they're certainly not getting the support from their yeah. doctor. 